What's going on everybody? Um, I thought my current situation and what I'm about to be doing would be kind of fitting about how I feel um, on how depersonalization affects your mood and you know how you feel about things um, and also my belief on how like life revolves around these chemicals firing within your brain that either make you feel good or bad or comfortable or uneasy or interested or uninterested or bored or amused like my belief is that you know me i have a really great life i have this amazing new apartment with my amazing girlfriend who i love and i have an amazing family um and i have a lot of things going for me and you know i am happy but i i go back to thinking about when i used to you know be able to smoke weed before it gave me depersonalization and how like things were just so much more interesting because of that chemical reaction um, or how also I have struggled with, and still do with alcohol and trying not to drink alcohol because of how it brings me down. But in the, in the moment that I am intoxicated, how it, those chemicals are firing in my brain and make me feel real and make me feel good again. Um, because depersonalization has just, you know, dampened my emotions so much. Um, and so tonight um, I leave where I am, um, it, which is now where I live is probably negative 10 degrees outside and I'm going on vacation, all paid vacation to Disneyland in Florida, Orlando, Florida with about 30 of my family members. Now the entire trip is paid for the plane ticket, the hotel, um, the stay, all VIP passes, food, everything, the entire trip. I really don't have to spend a dime this entire time. Now, how amazing is that? Thank you. Thanks to my grandparents who made this happen for me and my large family. Um, it's so amazing. And I'm blessed to be able to have this experience. Um, and it's not that I'm not excited because I am, but your average person would literally be off the wall right now. I mean, I am like 10 hours away from getting on a plane to go to an all paid trip to Disneyland. And as excited I, as I am, it's kind of more like, more like I just know I should be excited. So like, I'm excited and I know it's going to be a great time and I'm going to have a blast. But I mean, like with depersonalization, I'm like, eh, whatever, <laughs> you know, stupid. And then let's say I went and I consumed some alcohol right now. That chemical reaction in my brain caused by the alcohol would be making me more excited. And I'd be like, oh, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Yes. Yeah. And let's say if I was able to smoke weed right now and it had the same effect on me before I got depersonalization, I would be like so excited and everything would be so awesome because it's the, those chemical reactions in your brain. Like to me, life comes down to that. It's kind of sad in a sense that life almost revolves, like your well-being in life revolves around chemical reactions within your brain. I mean, think about it. Like, like I just, I just listed how great I have it. And, you know, I, I'm happy, but not as happy as I should be. But what, let's think of it this way. Put yourself in, let's say that you're locked in prison. You're locked in a jail cell. Okay. Right. And you have nothing to do there, but there's a chemical released in your brain that makes you okay and comfortable with being there. I mean, I, I remember when I used to smoke weed, I could literally sit in my room and I could watch TV and just stare at it and be amused for hours and hours and hours. Now I, that drives me nuts. I can't, I can't, it, I get so bored so easily, you know? And then, like I said, I would struggle with alcohol because, um, I, I use that to feel again, to feel. It just sucks because I would drink so much that it's harming me. And it's just, I got so attached to um, that, that substance that just would actually make me feel again. Like not being able to feel, being so numb. Like people take Xanax and shit to be numb like this for anxiety. And that's all depersonalization is. It's a natural Xanax. It just shuts down your brain so you don't have that heightened sense of anxiety, even though it still is terrifying at times. And if you're like me, it's gotten so much better to where you're just pretty much numb all the time. But like, I, I just wanted to use this example. I just have my belief on how crazy it is that like the chemical reactions in your brain cause everything. Like create like 
how good or bad an experience is. I mean, I'm going to fucking Disney World. I should be fucking going off the walls. I'm like, eh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. Get away, get out of the cold. I'm gonna miss my girlfriend, you know. But all paid vacation in Disneyland. Woo! You know, and that sucks because I, I, I really miss being like truly excited about things. But. Whatever, I'm going to Disneyland. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just kind of rambling about things. But, hey, have a good night.